How to resolve merge conflicts in Bitbucket UI. If you're working on a project and you've run into a merge conflict on Bitbucket, you're not alone. Merge conflicts can be frustrating, but they're actually quite manageable once you know the steps. Let's walk through how to resolve them. First, let's understand what a merge conflict is. It happens when Git can't automatically merge changes from two different branches because there are conflicting changes to the same line of code or document. This means you need to step in and decide which changes to keep. When you try to merge a branch and a conflict occurs, Bitbucket will let you know that it can't automatically merge the request due to conflicts. Here's what you do next. Go to your local repository and check out the branch that has the conflict. For example, if you're trying to merge a feature branch into the develop branch, you would check out the feature branch. Pull the latest changes from the develop branch to ensure your local branch is up to date. You can do this by running git fetch and then git pull origin develop. Now merge the develop branch into your feature branch using git merge develop. This will highlight the conflicted areas. When you run into a conflict, Git will mark the conflicting sections in the files using visual indicators. You'll see something like for the incoming changes and for the current changes, separated by QOP. To resolve the conflict, open the affected file in a text editor. You'll see the conflicting sections marked. Here you can decide which changes to keep or discard. You can choose to accept the incoming changes, keep the current changes, or even keep both changes if that's what you need. Once you've made your changes, save the file and close it. Then, you need to tell Git that you've resolved the conflict. Do this by running git add file name for each conflicted file. After adding all the files, commit the changes with git commit. This will create a new merge commit that finalizes the merge. If you're using the Bitbucket UI, you can also resolve conflicts directly there. When you create a pull request and Bitbucket detects a conflict, it will highlight the conflicted areas. You can click the Resolve Conflicts button, which opens an interactive editor. Here, you can see the incoming and current changes side by side and make your decisions directly in the editor. In the editor, you can accept incoming changes, keep current changes, or choose to keep both changes. Once you're done, save your changes, and Bitbucket will update the pull request accordingly. If you're unsure about which changes to keep, it's always a good idea to ask for help from another team member. They can review the changes and help you make the right decisions. By following these steps, you can easily resolve merge conflicts in Bitbucket and keep your project moving smoothly. Remember, Resolving conflicts is a normal part of the development process, and with practice, it becomes second nature.